Hey, what's up? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Welcome back to another video. If you're new around here, I'm Ben Rollins, and this channel is all about live looping. Upload three videos just like this every single week. So if that's something you're interested in, consider subscribing. Now, in today's video, I want to show you how we can MIDI map our Roland Hansonic drum pads to our laptop. Now one of my biggest questions when I was buying the Roland Hansonic was can I use it basically as a MIDI controller to control some really cool drum plugins inside of Ableton Live. Now what I'm going to show you in today's video can be applied to literally any DAW or working logic, a garage band, Ableton, but today we are going to use Ableton. So let's jump straight into the video and head into our computer. So I've got a brand new Ableton Live set loaded up over here and what we're going to do is we are going to plug in our Roland Hansonic via a USB type B cable. So on the back of the drum pads is a little USB port there. This is now going to take us over to the laptop. Now on Windows you may have to download some drivers. On Mac I think it works natively from what I can remember. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click menu, head over to the kit parameter here and click enter. And then you can see we are presented with three options. We are going to choose MIDI by using this little button here. And now we are going to be seeing our MIDI parameter options for this specific preset patch. Now the great thing about the Roland Hansonic is we can modify these MIDI parameters per preset. So for example, right now I'm on preset 48. So everything I'm doing in these menus will save to preset 48 and then if we load up preset 49 it's going to be slightly different which is perfect because it means we can really customize the drum kit to basically do whatever we want depending on the situation. So as you can see when I'm clicking on the different pads it's telling us the MIDI uh, note value here but the most important thing is it's telling us what MIDI note it's sending which is what we essentially need to know in order to map it inside of Ableton Live. So for example this pad is sending a D1, then we've got a C sharp one and so on. So we're happy with that, we don't really need to do anything else. You can go one step further, we're just clicking exit here and we'll head into the system settings. Scroll all the way down until we get to MIDI. And here we can select the MIDI channel that the de device is on. So right now I have it set to MIDI channel 10. Now you may want to change the MIDI channel because by default it is set to MIDI channel 1. And then if you have a MIDI keyboard plugged into your computer as well, which is also on MIDI channel 1, both of the devices are going to be triggering each other and, and there's going to be a bit of interference. So you may want to put your MIDI device on a separate channel so then, you know, there's no crossover of clicking the same button and triggering stuff on each thing. You know what I mean. If you've done anything with MIDI, you'll know what I'm talking about. So I'm going to map them today with a contact plugin. So I'm going to go into my plugins here. I'm going to head into my VSTs and we're going to load up contact. Now, if you're not familiar with contact, basically it's a host for my sample library plugins that I've bought on the internet. So I've I basically bought some fancy sample sounds that sound better than the stock Ableton sounds and it just elevates my entire show. So inside of contact, I have this drum kit plugin called Get Good Drums Modern and Massive and this is probably the best drum kit sample library I have ever used. It sounds absolutely unbelievable. It's perfect for any of your modern rock type of sounds and also your sort of metal and to be fair to it, it can do a little bit of pop. It's a really powerful acoustic drum kit. So we're just going to load in the default preset into our contact program and you can see how it looks here. So. We've got our drum kit, uh, we've got our snare, kick drum, toms, all sorts, and we can change them out for different brands and really customize the overall tone of the drum set. So we're going to head into this tab called settings, and you can see we have this menu called mappings. Now this is going to be where we can MIDI map our drum pads to our software, and it couldn't be any easier. Check this out. Literally, we click this little record button, it flashes red, and then we just literally hit the drum pad that we want to map this sound to. So there you go, it's now mapped it to this pad. 
and we've got our snare flam, and we can do the same for some hi-hats. Let's map some hi-hats to this pad here. So we've got an open hi-hat now, and if you aren't 100% too sure what sound you want to map to each drum pad, you can preview it here by clicking on its name. So that's a ride tip. We've got crash there, another crash there, and then you can just go, right, I want that one mapped to this key, and then there you have it, super duper easy and super powerful. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider leaving me a like and a subscribe. This channel is all about live looping upload, live looping tutorials, live looping performances every Tuesday, Thursday, and now Saturdays. I've been Ben Rollins. You can find me online at benrollinsmusic.com. If you want to learn more about live looping, check out this video over here, and I will see you in the next one.